Good evening, YouTube. How is everybody tonight? Hope you had a wonderful Monday. Uh, nobody likes a Monday anyways, but hope it was better than every other Monday. Let's put it that way. So, we are about to start doing some photos. Deborah's been listing on and off throughout the day. I've been uh, building shelves over here for inventory and kind of rearranging the basement a little bit. So now I'm trying to catch up. Got a bunch of pictures to take tonight, and I figured, why not take you guys along for the ride? So we'll show you what we use and how we take the pictures of our products. So a little tip, eBay likes, or so I've heard, eBay likes white backgrounds. Um, I haven't really found that there's a big difference if you use a colored background versus a white background or maybe that's the secret to increasing my sales is just using a white background I don't know either way we did get a new white background today I'll show you guys that in a minute um, but for our jeans I use a backdrop that's a wood pattern it looks like a, I guess palette board it's kind of what it looks like and to me I like it I like the way it looks. I think it it's, uh, accents the jeans very well. So um, that's what we use, just because we like it. But the white backdrop, we're going to start using those on shirts and shoes and other, everything else other than jeans. So also for our shirts, we like to use this guy right here. Back it up a little bit. It is a hanger with two extra pieces of hanger off the side of it show you guys that right there how we did that still trying to get the left or right thing going on so I can't take credit for this um, I saw it on a video done by Rally Roots um, and they got it from someone else I'm not sure who it is they got it from so I can't take credit for the design go check Rally Roots out and then check out whoever they got it from so they put uh, they actually made theirs fancy. They put cardboard all around it so the pieces didn't get hung up in the shirt. I doesn't really matter to me. So we also use some hanging half torso mannequins. I'll show you those as well. But uh, let's get right into it. All right. So here is some of the things we use. First of all, the light. Turn it off so you can see it. This light right here. It's just a umbrella light. It's got the uh, the bulb in the back of it. I got these on YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry, on eBay. Apologize. Saw them on YouTube. Got them on eBay for about. I think they were about forty bucks, to be honest with you. Um, got two of them. They come two to a pack. Also, the hanging mannequins. Here's the the male mannequin. Hollow on the back side, comes with a hook right here. We'll do a lot of our fitted shirts on these. I got a male and a female hanging mannequin. So <clears throat> on our small to medium shirts, we will do on the mannequin, but anything from extra large and above, we will do on the this guy right here. Just because it flares the shirt out, it really makes it bigger it, it, you can see more of the shirt whereas your smaller shirts they fit better on the mannequins and that's that, that's the way we do that so <clears throat> so let me take you over to our picture station I right, guess we over here in our picture station you can see we have our one light here one light here this is the uh, turn the camera around this is our wood background that I was telling you about I got a little tear there I was ironing a piece of clothing and burn a hole in it so we use this end over here so but this is the it's just plastic and it's uh, uh in my opinion it looks really good in the pictures but here's our white backdrop we've got the two tripod stands here and there our, our archery stuff over there and just a white hanging sheet and that will um acts as the white backdrop it is still a little wrinkled just because just came in the mail the other day and it's folded so we're trying to let it hang if not we'll iron it out so um now as far as uh to take our pictures i got a big secret or a confession 
I don't know which one yet. But, you sure you're ready? All right. So if to take our pictures, I, I, this is fancy stuff, guys. I'm telling you, it's fancy stuff. To take my pictures, I use my phone. That's it. I use my phone. I don't have a Rebel Canon Sony XST9-48. I, I don't know. I don't, know. I, I don't have any of that fancy stuff. I use my phone. I've got the S9 Plus, and it takes fantastic pictures. Wonderful pictures. So that's all I use. Deborah will sit at the computer and she will either the one down here in the basement or she'll take the laptop the laptop upstairs and she will uh, post everything as a draft and then I'll come down here and take the pictures or she'll sit over there and post them while I take the pictures over here. It's a team effort really. That, that's it. That's pretty much what we use. The backdrop, our two stands, our lights and our cloth and the phone. That's it. All right. So I'm going to keep the camera off of me and just keep it down on the, the product that we're photographing, which is, you know, what you want to see. So if you got this from Goodwill specifically, or any other thrift shop for that matter, you're going to have a, a tag on the clothing. You can just go ahead and cut that off and move that to the side. All right, so I like to lay my pants like this first. You pretty much start, lay them out, fold them back. Just like that. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna turn these around for me to see, to take a photograph of them. Get the pants legs nice and even. All right, these here are a pair of uh, American Eagle stretch white corduroy pants. All right. And we're just gonna go ahead, and the first picture will look like this. Just hold it up over top. Just have a picture. Then, I like to get a tape measure and measure the waist. Now, all of my measurements here are specifically from questions I've had from customers. So, I t I'm taking all of those measurements and I go ahead and put them in the picture to start off with. So, take a picture of that waistband with the measuring tape in there. And I'm going to take a picture of the, the rise. So you take and put your tape measure, start it right at the seam of the crotch, and just lay it across the top. And that's going to tell you your rise. Let's take a picture of that. There we go. And then I will flip them over and take a picture of the exact the same way from the opposite direction <clears throat> of the back side now. Take a picture the same way. And typically American Eagle has a label right here. It's, it's not on these jeans, but still, I like to get a picture of the back pocket. And one photograph I forgot is I will take a picture of the, of the front pocket of this from here to here <clears throat> where the that fifth pocket is pretty much this section right here all right <clears throat> so we'll take a lay them out flat on the back side <clears throat> so you're gonna have the the rear facing up and take a whole picture of the jeans a whole picture okay and we do the same thing Flip it over. Same thing. In the very front. This gives you a whole picture of the entire pair of jeans. Okay. And then I will take a picture. I will measure the opening of the hem. I had somebody ask me that one time, and I figured, why not? I'll just do that. Especially if they're a pair of jeggings or a slim cut or even boot cut. Um, you kind of want to know the opening of those. So I will take a picture of those, of that opening as well. 
make sure you get the, the tape measure in there. And then I will take a measurement of the, the inseam. And to get that, you're going to go from the, the, the crotch straight down. And you're going to know the crotch because you're going to have a crease. Back it up a little bit. You're going to have a, where the seam comes together right there, okay? That is your inseam. You're going to measure from there all the way down. This is going to be a 32 inch inseam. <clears throat> and I don't get the whole pants leg from there to here. I just take and do, you know, maybe the last 15 inches of the, of the pair of pants. Okay? So then from there I will take pictures of the tags to show the brand and to show the to show the uh, size and everything as far as what kind of pants they are. So we can turn those around and we'll get a picture of the size. It's going to be a little tricky to do with one hand sometimes. Especially when they don't want to cooperate. Okay, and that is a full 12 pictures. eBay recommends you use between four to six pictures for their algorithm to recognize it. However, you have 12 free pictures available, why not use them all? All right, so now we've moved on to the shirt portion of how we take pictures, okay? As you can see, I've got you know my two lights set up, a white background, this is the hanging mannequin I was telling you about, the female one on a blue workout shirt and because it's a size uh, medium. So we, we'll use the mannequin because it fits really, really well. All right, so we're just going to take a couple of pictures here. See that right there? Turns out pretty well. I notice we do have a little bit of a shadow towards the bottom of the shirt. So I'm going to put this right about the middle. Try to see if we can't get, a, get rid of some of that shadow. There we go. Alright. Moving on. I'd like to get up on the shirt to show some detail. Take a picture of any logos like that that you see on the shirt. A nice view of that. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll get the stitching on the shirt here as well, because it's a pretty important feature. But also, I'll take a, I'm sure you guys can see that, take a broad picture like that of the shoulders, like that. <clears throat> and then I will take a turn around without pulling down the entire rack. So there we go. Hang that there. So I'm pretty excited about this new, this one new here because we had it hung up on the wall prior to and it was just, when you hung it up on the wall flat it would actually stick out like that a little bit. So, let's take a picture of the back, like that. Okay. Straighten that up just a little bit. And we'll take a picture of the, the center there. Like that. And then, we're actually going to change out the hanger. We're going to set the mannequin aside. There you go. Where you can see into the label of the shirt. And we will take a picture of that as well. For brand and sizing. And that's pretty much it for shirts. <clears throat> um, for long sleeve shirts, I'll tend to take and do, raise it up a little bit. For long sleeve shirts, I'll tend to do a pictures of the cuffs and things like that. When you lay down a button down shirt, I'll do the pit to pit 
measurement and also from collar to shirt tail and add that into the description of the picture or of the listing sorry but other than that that's that, that's gonna be pretty much it for pictures you know you want the the front of the shirt you want any labeling that's on the shirt uh, North Face, Columbia, Under Armour, uh, Reebok is popular for that. Um, a bust of the shirt. The back of the shirt. And then any up close on any distinguishing features up about the back of the shirt. And then the inside of the collar where the tag is so you know brand and size. The customer can see that. So... I'm going to go ahead and submit all of these photos to our listing. And that's it. That's how we take our pictures. If you have any questions on anything, please feel free to ask. You can comment below. I do try to answer all questions as quickly as I can. We've had a couple of questions on some of our videos, which is great considering how new we are to YouTube. And to get questions and people corresponding with us is awesome. Um, Especially, you know, people asking me questions, which is really cool because, you know, I've watched a lot of the bigger guys and, and gals and how they do it and learn from them. Now it's cool to be able to teach other people what I know and what I've come to experience in my own findings and things like that. So please, if you like this content, like, subscribe, share if you want to. If not, thanks for watching anyway. Um, we're going to have more videos coming out like this as far as more teaching to on how I do things because everybody does it a little differently. Everybody does it. Everybody tweaks it a little differently. And that's what I've done. I've taken and looked at how other people do it and tweaked it to fit myself and to, to, to fit what I have available to me. So these lights and stuff and the background, we didn't start with all of that. That wasn't like a, hey, let's go buy all this stuff. It was starting with a lamp with uh, the cover off pointed at the, the item, trying to make it as bright as possible, you know, on the desk or the carpet or any other with a white sheet hung over my bench press over here. And, you know, anything we could do to try to make it look as good as possible with as little as we had. So selling items, you know, making profits, we've been able to take and dump that back into the business and buy more inventory and buy nicer lighting equipment, nicer photography equipment. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for joining us and I hope you have a wonderful night and we'll see you later on.